Hi everyone, it's Nicola Milan from SingersSecret.com. If you have ever worried about becoming too old to be a singer or feel like you may have missed the boat, then you will be pleased to know that getting older can actually be one of the best things that can happen to you as a singer. The reason is, is because your voice will actually go through significant changes right through adolescence, which is evident in young males where their voices drop, right through into early adulthood with your voice actually reaching its vocal maturity in your early 30s. You see, it all has to do with a combination of hormones, changes in the structure of your larynx, that's your voice box, the maturity of your vocal folds, and even changes to the structure and the density of your skull, which as singers we use as resonant chambers to produce sound. So as a singer, you really are like a fine wine, <laughs> with your vocal maturity only actually reaching its peak in its 30s and beyond. This can change, however, from and differ from person to person because all of our instruments are unique. However, as a general rule, the higher your voice is within your range, so if you are a soprano, for example, and you have quite a high voice within the soprano range, then your voice will mature more quickly than someone like myself, for example, who I'm a jazz singer and I have a low voice in the alto range. Um, and also for men who are basses and baritones with very low voices, um, as a general rule, the lower your voice, the longer it will take for you to reach maturity. But the good thing to remember is that your voice is only going to get better and better. I think singers are the only musicians that are actually looking forward to getting older because they know that it's going to improve their voice. Now, with everything that is age related, there will come a point in your future where your voice will actually decline. It happens again individually from person to person, but as a general rule from your 60s onwards. However, if you treat your voice carefully and you use correct vocal technique, then you can keep singing right up into your 80s. I mean, look at Tony Bennett. He's in his 80s and he's had a career that spanned decades. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, in the, the Hollywood music industry, whatever, you, they always say that your golden years are your 20s and your 30s. Now, this isn't actually accurate. And I used to worry about it personally myself. I used to think, oh, you know, I need to hurry up and get famous now. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I won't be commercially viable anymore. I won't get sponsorship deals for Mac. You know, we all think, <laughs> I mean, maybe it was just me, but I kind of assume that we all think that way. <laughs> but um, the, the fact is, is that that kind of thinking was totally wrong. And it was very destructive to my, my self-esteem as well. The truth is this. It doesn't matter how old you are, as long as you are making a connection with people through your music, they will love you no matter what age you are. I mean, if you have a look at like Susan Boyle, she's uh, an, an English singer and she won Britain's Got Talent, I think it is, a couple of years ago. Um, and the fact that she was older and a, a bit of fuddy-duddy actually added to her charm. And now she's a huge success. And you have other bands like the Rolling Stones. I mean, they're still going strong. You know, I don't even know how old they are now. <laughs> they're, 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 you know, they're, they're getting on and they're still huge. There's their concerts sell out months and months in advance. So I have, the main thing is you, you don't have to worry about getting too old or even if you haven't started singing yet at all and you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm too old to, to start. <laughs> age, age is just a number. Age really doesn't matter and your voice is only going to get better as you reach your maturity. So there you have it. I hope you give yourself the time to enjoy your musical journey at the pace that is right for you because we are all different and as long as you're making that connection with people through music it doesn't matter what age you are. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. If you have please head on over to my website singersecret.com and hop onto my email list because I put singing tips and secrets in there that I don't share anywhere else and you don't want to miss out on them. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my other videos and please share this video with your friends if you think they may benefit.
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nicola Milan and I'll talk to you again soon.